What's going on? Welcome back, Black Street Boys Show, episode numero quarenta e ocho, episode number forty eight, y'all man. As usual, it's your boy right. Brandon Keith, aka the Ranger Brother, the man across from me. Got your boy D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Marge, man and menace, but today we the purple perpetrator. How y'all doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's Rob Philosophy. It's Rob the God, Philosophical Rob CEO to Press, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it, man. YouTube membership, Patreon, Discord, Discord. hey. The community jumping right now, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you missing yeah, out, yeah. man. It's real fun time we having right there. Whole lot, whole lot of would you rather questions going in there. We need to make a section for that. Yeah, do. uh, something like that. Ultimate, ultimate, and stuff like that. So, you keep saying join the Discord, join it. Join, you want to call join in? All that. That, join it. All of that stuff, man. Mm-hmm. We're also even going to say one of the would you rather's. Going to give the credit to the chick that was in there. That you no, know, she said one. She said a good one today, man. Matter of fact, so let's kick us off. Ultimate, ultimatums. I got a question for y'all, man. Okay. Would y'all rather bring back slavery <laughs> or by the silver back gorilla with nothing but a pair of scissors? You just got to be you, brave enough to stand tall, my brother. If you don't win, you probably did. Um, you did. It would be a sacrifice. All right, it's small but we wouldn't have to... <laughs> Go back to slavery. You fight. Well, that's not the an answer. My answer is I'm fighting that gorilla. Okay. She. Why are you fighting the gorilla? Why would I want slavery to come back? It's not that you want slavery to come back. That's the only other option if I don't fight the gorilla. <laughs> well, do you want to die? Because you're not going to win. I'd rather die than go through slavery again. Well, I didn't go through the first what time. If it was, what if it was modern day slavery, like today? We doing that anyway. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it will be bring. They would, they would bring it back. That's so what you it would mean be. In like whips and you know. Yeah, but we still have our prior <laughs> knowledge. We everything history still happened, and this that it's just that it come back. Oh man, I'm fighting yeah. the damn gorilla. I don't yeah, really understand yeah. what y'all. What you doing, say? Rob? Yeah, y'all both. <sighs> man, you know, like I said before. Gorillas is bitches, oh, <laughs> oh, but I ain't fighting the gorilla though. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna but, knuckle up. So 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 look, man. Brandon Brandon had said something in the in the Discord chat when that lady asked. He was saying how we can get out of there faster, and that's facts. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah, my answer is yeah. We can bring that back for a little bit, just for a little bit. Run that back real quick, just real quick. And it gonna be the it gonna be four hundred years this time, bro. It's probably gonna be about five years. I'll this give is it. just down right to the next presidential no, election. No, yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. Election. I'm not fighting no gorilla. We can all go and change right now. I might fight no damn gorilla. You who y'all think I am? You th- what, who y'all think I am? Oh no 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 no! Don't t- don't turn this around now, because before you said you could fight a gorilla. Exactly. That it was just no. for the jokes, nigga. No, no you bold. gotta stand on that no. ten toes down, brother. Yeah, nah. So let me ask y'all this: You telling me that instead of fighting the gorilla? <laughs> Dying. You gonna you gonna <laughs> let your mama and your pop go through slavery. We not gonna be in that for too long. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what is that? We already Nigga, got the pride knowledge, everything that didn't happen. They have, can't keep us down anything. for that long. We though. we now know our physical we capabilities. We is not they they can't catch all of us if we the run. institutionalization, we not they not they not that's not flying this yeah, time. They can't catch keep all mind, of us. They'll probably be like the north and south again. Yes. You know what that's I'm saying? What I figured. So I mean, I mean, in all reality, <laughs> this we'd probably be good. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> it is but to awful, my southern, but, <laughs> but to my <laughs> bro, <laughs> but to my southern brothers, uh huh. Damn. <laughs> oh yeah, damn. Y'all, but we gonna get y'all out of there though. Yeah, y'all definitely. And I got family in the south, so I'm sorry, grandma. Uncle, I'm sorry, like, grandma. Like, no, that's crazy. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, you hear this? What you you a hero? I'd rather just, you know, head, you know, try my chances. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, look, at me. I'm not a big dude. I'm probably gonna get my ass whooped. But I'd rather that than just like, oh, well, I got some, my whole family to go through slavery and my grandma and my grandma dog too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy as hell. Just take the L and we good. We but about. DJ, you you telling oh, me nah. you letting all your homies go through slavery, right? Nigga, I would take a couple of lashes on the back. Then getting beat the hell up by a gorilla. I'm gonna be honest. It's with not you. just you taking the lashes on the back. It's the whole damn country taking the yeah, lashes. I got on the stuff. Back. Everybody got stuff. Everybody no, got to stuff. <laughs> no. Yeah, crab no, that barrel no, bass. No, 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 no. I, I'm a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I'm not a hero. 
Yeah, I'm not saying claim. I am. I'm well, just you, saying you act like you, you act like well, you. I just think be, it's ridiculous that y'all would rather slavery happen. And I think it's just, a heroic act of you to try to go fight a damn gorilla. And I ain't gonna yeah. lie, it's it's selfish. Yes, extremely. Right, but like I said, I'm not no fucking hero. <laughs> yeah, he's speaking facts though. He ain't lie. I'm not saying he I is. don't want to die. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want die to because live. of slavery anyway. No, you, you basically. Nah, nah, nah. nah we ain't nah, dying. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I'm, I'm going to have a high likelihood of living than go that's what I want that silver back. Nah, I ain't going to lie. Nowadays, we taking over the plantation. Yeah, for real. Like I said, they can't Besides, catch all We already got Glocks with switches yeah. and shit. Them people got that. Come on, man. You know I mean, we're not going to gonna have those, though, if we slave. <laughs> nah, not me. Exactly. But someone else will. Who is someone else? I don't know when people already got them. The modern, you, you asking for the modern day <laughs> I don't game Django back. to come in and just, <laughs> like, you, like, you The modern day Django. Right, the modern day Django to just come hey, in. Hey, somebody just, gonna do nah, it. No, nah, no, it's, it's gonna be numbers. <laughs> uh, Listen, you I'm know what? not dying. Although I'm saying I'm gonna fight the gorilla, I would be interested to see how that would go down with the slavery thing. Because <laughs> the way y'all explaining it, I'm definitely gonna fight the gorilla. But I'm saying the way y'all explain it, y'all make it seem like we just got some kind of crazy edge. It's like, oh, we can't lose. We can't I say that. It's just uh, they bring, we're definitely smarter. We're definitely think smarter of it now. like there's definitely some people that probably they probably would like slavery to come back, or they would, you know what I'm saying. 100%. But most people, most people, <laughs> I see where you're going. Like they probably first of all they too broke to own slaves. Slaves, we got inflation now. We probably be expensive. <laughs> you gotta get us for a few hundred dollars. We gonna cost a lot. We gonna cost a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I so. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna cost more than your dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you got it from furry babies and pay six thousand for that dog. You probably gonna cost more than that. Especially, you know what I'm saying? I nah, guess. man, keep it a buck. You are, they famous? Yeah, keep you it getting a, Terry Crews? Yeah. They not Hell getting no. him. Realistically, if, yeah, he good. No, nah, really. Well, today he we might can, do it anyway. They say he'll sell out anyway. He what? work for the he white man. Be a, oh yeah, there could be black slavers too. Man. Look, we can I'm barely saying, get black people to work for money. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, but enticing, you could be a good master. You know, enticing like that is there. some motherfuckers though. Hmm? If we let motherfuckers know that that black what? people could be master, I no. mean, they was already master. Some of them might go take that shit around with it. Listen, uh, the point. The point of the, the point of the story is: look, my brother is my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we gonna get out of this real fast <laughs> this time, real quick. <laughs> chop, chop, real fast with it. We whooping ass. Not, come on, man. No, that's facts, though. Realistically, like, it, they, I, it don't got to be violent. Bro, we getting up out of that. I don't like, know. Like, we, we, we vote that out real fast. But you don't think they know that? We vote that so out So they real wouldn't fast. devise no plan ahead of time? It would take us about four four to six years. That's a long time, brother. Yeah, it beats 400 years. Nigga, what you talking about? That's a long time. I agree. That's a beast 400 well, years. Come but to naturally, the but I'm just saying, <laughs> four to six. A lot of shit can go down in four to six. A lot of shit can go down in 46. I apologize. I did not ask this question. Shout out to, uh, I don't, I'm probably going to say your name wrong. Shout out to Quadra. Uh, her username's like Angel Bliss, but I think actually it was like Quadra Monique or something like that. Okay. So okay. on YouTube. So shout out to her. Shout out. You want your question feature? You want your shout out? Join the Discord. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's all we got for Ultimate Ultimatums, man. No Collins today. They ain't just, you know, activity. Yeah. Yeah. Rose a lot schedule. of that. A lot Rose of that. Schedule. So let's get into the general topics, man. The Met Gala happened. Oh, I was watching man. basketball personally, so I wasn't really paying too much attention. But I saw some of it afterwards on Twitter, Twitter. and stuff. Yeah, Twitter helps. I was, Honestly, yeah, yeah. I was looking at a lot of the outfits and, you know, per usual every year is, is some fucking out of control, weird ass, you know, outfits and shit. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, this year, niggas decided to pull up in whole cat costumes. Hmm. Yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, I saw that. A furry? Yeah, I guess furries is fashion, high furries fashion now. Trend. So, like, that's new. Uh, Serena Williams was pregnant. She announced she was pregnant on the Matt Gala. Pregnant as uh, hell. Pregnant. I didn't think that. I thought she was kind of old. I didn't think she got. Yeah, pregnant. how old is Serena Williams? Is it, she's in her 50s? I don't know. She got to be in her. Smooth At least like 40s, 40s, so, yeah, 40s smooth or something. 40s, still still 40s. Someone, someone look that up, man. I don't know how old Serena Williams is, man. It still work. Yeah. Apparently, I think yo, I think the gear start getting jammed up once you hit like forty three, right? Man, oh Serena, you don't know nothing about that. How old is he? Well, I know once they start getting the menopause, she's like about like <laughs> about like forty one. She right there in the menopause. I okay, she right before. She right old, before man. though. She right before. That's though. pretty old to be having no kid, having a kid. It, man. it is. I don't know if I like that because they say after thirty five, it increases the chances of your your child having to say lightly complications. Mm. Man, the I slow. didn't even know that. 
I didn't even know that. With the foreign, well, I mean, with the foreign know, defamation and stuff like that. What can we do? Shit, you know. She, so I know she pregnant as hell already. She's solid. Like, like, what you think? Five, at least five months, right? I have no idea. I already know nothing, but but she got the bump. I yeah, saw she the got bump. a decent. Yeah. Bump. She got a decent bump, man. Man, they yeah. was roasting her in the Twitter comments. Man, at least it, was evil. Evil. it was it was sick and evil. That's telling her need a fire nah, makeup artist. Yeah, no, nah, congratulations, Damn. but the makeup was not it wasn't not the best. there. Yeah. It wasn't there. Yeah. I think the guys had some cool shit on. They did. I like uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander, the yeah, NBA that player. His stuff was cool. Was My cool. thing is, stop, like, stop. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't when it comes to the, when it comes to the, when it when it comes to like the 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 people wearing furry costumes and all sort of stuff. There's a theme for the Met Gala. I'm not even into Met Gala like this, but I know there's a theme every year. This year was based off of this one dude. A furry does not align with that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are y'all doing? Y'all just doing some bull or 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 Lil Nas X sort yeah, of butt ass naked. He always does. He always does some wild shit like I'm that. I'm sick though. of that. I'm not surprised. That was ridiculous. But do we see? Bro. Do we see? I don't know how Brand's gonna Brand's gonna love this. I don't know what? how Harry Styles got best dressed. Oh, that is, <laughs> I saw that. In a damn dress. Bro, there were so many people that was dressed better than Harry Styles. 100%. So many bro. people. Diddy. All, I mean, so many people. Shay. I mean, the, pretty much everybody. Hey, Diddy Besides was sharp. Nas X. Diddy was sharp. I was fucking with Diddy Fit. Oh, Diddy was actually pretty yeah, cool. Diddy, oh, kind Diddy of was sharp. Diddy, Diddy's just normally clean, though. His, his was clean. Um, that's crazy because you said that because when I seen it on Twitter, I thought of Brandon. And that's the first oh, you thing know I, I saw. It. <laughs> I, I, like, I know ass. this boy Brandon hot as hell, bro. <laughs> Watermelon sugar high. Because he one of the best dressed in a few years. Why? Why? Oh, why? Because <laughs> he's showing his nipples. Is Pretty that much. why? I'm oh, sorry, man. but you know what? I'm not even gonna get on Harry Styles. Lil Nas X, need, you need to stop. That should be illegal. You should be allowed to show up there. He was naked, basically. Yeah. All he had was some drawers on. Can, can we, can he painted we, himself silver. Can we get an image of Lil Nas X? No. <laughs> no. No. No, no, man. He basically just Tin Man. We're going to get demonetized. Yeah. He's just Tin Man from The Wizard yeah. of Oz. Nigga, how of Tin Man had clothes on, did he not? On my yeah, but the color the same. Yeah. Shit. I ain't trying to see that man's silver cheeks. No cheeks. No color cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Oh, man. Look, look, come on, man. Bro, I'm trying like, to see that. Like, what is, what is this? Trying to silver see that. What is this? Look, look, silver like, surfer. Why? What was the theme behind it? There wasn't no theme. Okay, there was a, probably a theme, but it wasn't no theme with Damn, the theme. Okay, ass cheeks is just nah, wow, nah, crazy. Nah, taking the mouse cursor over the cheeks is crazy. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. Come on, dog. That ain't got this pick up popping, man. It's ridiculous. You know what they say? Any publicity is good publicity. Mm -hmm. Let me yeah. show my ass in front of all these people. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say about like the dresses and all the cat suits and shit. It's all just publicity. Shit, you know? one fart and all the glitter come off his ass. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Hell no. Show. Hell, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man. Just. Why, why, Lord, why? I, I, I'm not even gonna try to stick on that too much, man. Outrageous. Okay. But the Met Gala was interesting. Who do you think had the best outfit though? For real though, going women Diddy. and men. Man, I, I probably go Diddy as well. Man, yeah. that was like a king. Yeah, like, nah, he was yeah. real. Oh, I know I done brought it up a lot of times, but it remind me of like some modern day like. Like he about to sit on the Iron Throne. Like, he's a, like he a dual. He feel me, real, real yeah. king. Like I'm fucking with. I mess with yeah, that. That, that shit was raw. Yeah. That was raw. The black roses on it. That was cold. Fire. Mm -hmm. That was cold. Fire. Did we see Pharrell's outfit? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, see, I didn't see too many of them. If I'm I being honest, but from the women, Rihanna's outfit looked funny. But for some reason, I still mess with it. I rock hmm. with it. I don't Doja she Cat looked, was she looked like she was out of like motherfucking uh, Fall Guys or some shit. She <laughs> <laughs> But it was cool though, man. I I, I messed with it though. Oh, uh, Cardi B. I probably say that. Cole Cardi B was cool too. Mm. I didn't and it was on and, and it was on theme. Uh, DJ, what's going on with this Lamar Jackson DJ and Samaj thing? Oh, so what's it called? Basically, Lamar just got a big contract. He's been fighting for for a long time, and apparently, to get the contract, he fired his quote unquote agent and hired his mom, and the mom got him the contract. But people, at the, everybody's in an uproar, like, you know. He oh, could have like, made more money right. if he would have kept his agent. But I think it's two sides of this. It's two views on it. it right. You got the, you know, regular people like, oh, he did the right thing, hiring his mom, keeping it all in family and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you have the sports analysts and sports people that are like, that was a terrible idea. Like, you could have got the deal done way earlier, way more money, all that kind of stuff. You ask me, it really don't matter. I mean, the deal got done. Because mm -hmm. me, as a football fan, 
Lamar deserved that money a long time ago. He got an MVP, played his heart out, played with an injury. Because football is a very dangerous sport. Yep. Very. So he's playing with an injury, and the money that he saw and wanted, the Ravens didn't think was adequate enough. So they rejected his first offer. So to this long hiatus, trying to figure out the numbers and all that kind of stuff. And I guess the mom, quote unquote, helped him get to the promise line, you could say. But there's really no point in being upset about it. If you ask me, I mean, if this becomes the norm to where we're firing agents and hiring family members, will it be the best practice? No, but uh, you could also call it keeping it in the family. Mm-hmm. The the my perspective on the whole thing is uh, the way I see <clears throat> a lot of these agents and shit work for uh, sports is usually agents have been in the field for what twenty thirty years. So they know they know coaches, they know uh, you know the whole board and everything. So when I see stuff like that, I think okay, if this agent works with these people, he's gonna get he's gonna probably get them to save a lot more money on this one player. That's how I look at it. I mean, they coerce we you know they they help each other on saving money on deals and with these players who get injured and shit like right. that. So I'm like you know what let his, let his mom run that you know. Because she understands the injuries, how that works. The agent really doesn't care about that because he's been in the injury for, like, what, 20, 30 years. So. Mm-hmm. And there's different routes you could take with it, of course. I mean, you could say that, you know, having an agent is way better because the agent knows how to shield you from mm-hmm. all the criticism from the teams. They actually know how to work with the other agents on finding yeah. deals out there in the market. Yeah, having the connections, all that kind of stuff. And the reason that's relevant <clears throat> is if the deal doesn't get done. If the deal don't get done, then you could say that. But the mom got the deal done, so there should be no and, issue. And no he, issue isn't he not, is he not the highest paid? Is yes. that, is that, that's the biggest this NFL year, contract of all time, right? This year, yeah. he will be the highest paid QB. Yeah. Now, he has five-year contract, but the way these NFL deals work, they put them on longer contracts. Right. How they do with Pat Mahomes. Yeah, so they spread the money out. So the right. cap hit is less every year. Mm-hmm. So... Most people are saying it only matters about those first three years because technically at that third year, he can go back on the market. Right. Mm, okay. Those last two years are just fluff. I didn't know that. And my thing is, is that when it comes to hiring his mom as an agent or a, fam- or a family member as an agent, I mean, Lamar Jackson's already famous. Mm. He's already made a name for himself, carved out his lane. I can understand if he was just still trying to build his name up in the way he still kind of is, but I mean, he's still pretty much established. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, he get the 10% to his mom instead of an agent. I mean, I don't see the point of that. And she got the job done, like you said. So exactly. I don't really see the point of that. But I understand because agents, you know, for example, we have we have agents approach us and stuff like that. Right. right. It was, obviously, right now, we wouldn't go, I wouldn't go to my mama and be like, oh, yeah. mom, I'd rather have you do it. Exactly. She don't know nobody. Yeah. Exactly. But Lamar Jackson already know a lot of motherfuckers. And that's yeah. the thing, bro. We have to take it as, because Lamar Jackson isn't an idiot. He wouldn't hire his mom if his mom knew nothing about the industry or how to navigate the industry. Right. He didn't just hire some bum off the street that can barely do math. He hired his mom. He clearly thought his mom could get the job done. He's a suitable yeah. candidate, yeah. DJ, can we infer that his mom helped him with football his whole career? Can we infer that? That I have no idea. Um, okay. I don't really know anything about. Lamar's I would ass- I would assume. Like, uh, also, should be. Uh, but she has to have some type guidance. of intellect yeah. on the on the you know. Yeah. That's so, what I was asking. Did his mom want to do it, or did he ask his mom to do it? I guess I'm confused on that part. I don't think she would have done it if she didn't want if to. If she didn't right. want to, yeah, it'd be yeah. kind of weird to do it if you don't want to. Well, I mean, because I don't think she, I don't even think she's do getting so. like a cut like that. Because they're saying like the agent would charge so and so percent, ten yeah, percent. So it's Lamar's his mom. I think Lamar's gonna buy his mom whatever the, she ever wants. Exactly, that's right. what I'm saying. So, so I don't think there's like no type of specific. Oh, yeah. you get this amount of money because we did this deal. I think it's you, my mom. I'm a ball out of you whenever I feel like it because you're my mom. And that money also goes straight to her instead of going through like yep. an agent, having to pay an agent ten percent. They have my money just to give your family, like so. And ten percent of what Lamar Jackson is going to make with advertisements, et cetera, is insane uh, amount of money. Same amount of money. <laughs> yeah. amount of money. Right. So at that point, she wouldn't even have to. He wouldn't even have to give his mom nothing for real. Exactly. She just getting the ten percent, whatever. Hmm. And that would probably be be enough to last generations. Yeah. Right. And like I said, everyone already knows Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson knows other people, so. I don't really see a problem with let, let, let him do what he want to do, man. Literally. Whole you don't want to, it doesn't mean everyone has to do it. But Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. It doesn't mean everybody has to do it. Because, like I said, 
if everybody starts doing that, a lot of them won't work. Yeah, I just but, don't think I don't oh, understand yeah. why people care. Yeah, but this one worked. So yeah, I, that's my cares? thing. I don't understand why do they care? Why people care so it, much? Because it worked. That's why they care. Yeah. Because are they like are they fair? Because it, it's threatening their spot in the industry. People that Probably. worked for a long time to Probably. become an agent or I whatever. Think, I think it's it's threatening the the view on agents now for some players who've okay. been there for a while. Okay, I guess I can see that. But still, a little bit of a panic. It's, it's still not logical. But it's not like everybody's mom or dad can go and exactly. do that. Exactly. Yeah. So like, like, it's, it's an anomaly. Like, yeah, this isn't going to happen often. Yeah, no. People are going to try it, and they're going to fail. Shout out to Miss Jackson. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, you can move on, man. I saw another thing. Uh. Rest in peace to that man, Jerry Springer. He yeah, passed away. Yeah. He had a very entertaining show. I'm not even going to cap. 100%. It was very entertaining. <laughs> very 100%. messy. A lot of things happened. Very messy. You know, very messy. Controversial. Extremely. Uh, but yeah, he passed away. And I was on Twitter. You know, I'd be on the interwebs. <sighs> just going through the internet, man. And I'd be seeing people argue. I'd be looking at it from a bird's eye view, man. And I saw people, like I said, I know... I say this all the time. We try not to do this man versus women thing all the time, but I just want to have just an observational conversation about this. I saw people making the making the comparison between the reaction to Jerry Springer's death. I didn't really see anything negative about that. Not saying there should have been people mm -hmm. just bashing him, whatever. Um, but making that comparison to when Kevin Samuels passed away. When Kevin Samuels passed away, it like a lot of people were making fun of it, saying good riddance, blah, blah, blah. He was a detriment to us. But Jerry Springer passes away, and it's not the same energy seemingly at all. Mm -hmm. So some people had a problem with that, man. So it's I want to I want to see what y'all think about that. Uh, um, I yeah, definitely man. think it is very interesting to not see anything about it because no hate toward Jerry Springer's show, but it put a lot of the black people bad, in terrible light. Yeah, it, it put a lot of the bad of the black community in, mm -hmm. in light, like. On a stand, almost. A lot of them problems that Kevin Samuels talked about on his show yep. Yep. were and on display on Jerry Springer. You don't really realize. I didn't realize it until I got older. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, no. Back, as kids. a kid, I was just like, oh, these people are just crazy. But <laughs> yeah. like, when I got older, I'm like, there's a lot of black people on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have parents that like always tell the street. So like young, like all I see from Jerry Springer from, from watching it with them, they made not only just black people, they made them trailer park motherfuckers yeah, look like bad. so yeah. bad. Yeah. Like them, like them niggas just love living in a trailer park or something. It made them look that damn yeah, bad. Like right. that shit was ridiculous. Mari the same way. Mm. Oh, what's Mari, the, what's yeah. the good demographic of people that's on Mari? All black, black. people. All them all black. Mm -hmm. And it's I but think yeah. I think only people only kissing the ass because they grew up with it. Kevin right. Samuels didn't come out to what twenty eighteen, like four years ago or something right. like that. Yeah, so. They, you know how nostalgia works. Oh, it was a great time. I was living. I had a better life at the time. Like you know, I was a kid and all matter. that kind of shit. Mm. I'm not gonna front. You don't Maury, kiss the ass of it. Mori and all that was was definitely entertaining. I'll come home from school some days. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Back in the yep. day. Oh, Mori. It would just be on because because apparently the, the TV, TV on. Yeah. 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 You start watching that. They they wild in this month. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, Mori. They used to have this segment on there where they would have like girls and guys and they would have some guys dressed as girls and you had to guess which guess one which was one's a man. Yep, right, bro. bro. When I was like, a kid. I started doing that in public like, oh, out man, loud. That and I was is... like, I was like six years old, bro. <laughs> I, we used oh. to be walking in the mall. Man, man. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Oh, man. Oh, my mom <laughs> smacked the hell out of me. Yo. I, I, you ain't even going to That reminds me when I was a kid, bro. I remember when I was a kid, I was probably around, around like six or something. Mm -hmm. Man, obviously I'm black. Obviously, oh, and I'm, no. I'm in shoe carnival. You know, I wasn't getting the, the, the name. I wasn't getting like the no Nikes yeah. and stuff. Jordans. Oh, I wasn't getting that. We was up in the shoe carnival oh, mm -hmm. and all that and all that, and all of that. So we was in the shoe carnival one day, and we was just walking went down the aisle, and it was just white kid and their mom. You know, they walk by. It was just, you know, you know, we we live in the suburbs, but we see a whole bunch of different types of people. It is yeah. it. You walk by, and I know where the kid points, looks at me, said, "Hey, mom, look, black people." I said, what the hell? <laughs> she walked off. And she, she, and she walked off. I was confused. I was I was like, what do you mean I'm black? I look at my skin I'm like, I'm brown. I'm My shirt is black. <laughs> but I'm brown. What the hell you mean by that? Taught me some lessons at a very young age. Like, yeah. damn. I, hell yeah. What was going on in the household? I heard walk up and just say that. Mm -hmm. Mom, look black people. What the hell? 
that's a strange statement. Yeah, it's very strange. I ran into stuff like that before too. Uh, I used to be hooping with some of my homies in the other subdivision, and there was this little Mexican girl who walked up to me, and she took our ball and started running with it. I said, "Hey, get the ball back." She said, "I don't speak black." <laughs> oh, ho, ho, so that I don't speak black and Asian. I would have laughed. I would have laughed. <laughs> it, it, it's funny, but it just says in a lot. Retrospect. It just, no, it just says a lot. Like, what have you been hearing from yeah, your parents? Thank you. Like, thank you. Like, how the fuck does that dialogue creep into your head? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. See? But but with that being said, man, to Jerry Springer and Kevin Sill, I'm not trying to say that people should have been bashing him, whatever this and that. But, I mean, some of it is detrimental conversation to be had. But I'm saying is that, I mean, I enjoyed watching Kevin Samuel stuff from time to Hell time, yeah. as well as seeing Jerry Springer and Maury, you know, stuff like that. It's like, why do we, it's, it's more like, it's more so the selective outrage. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But we too, we, we like this person yeah, more. So we tolerate this more than if someone that we don't like or oh, whatever yeah. this mm -hmm. and that. And yeah, bro, that's that's that, man. Let's do better. Let's do better. Man. But in other news, man, Texas. Oh, everything man. bigger in Texas. Everything. You got a lot of guns in Texas. Mm -hmm. Taxes ain't as bad as in Texas. Mm -hmm. People making more money living, living everyone moving to Texas. Yeah, that's factual. Yeah, you gotta, gotta it it sounds there. like they got more that's coming to Texas, man. Once again, on. I was on the interwebs. Going on in Texas. And I saw some stuff that was very interesting. Mm -hmm. It said, Texas teachers to get $25,000 to carry guns in school if a bill passes. So I'm guessing that would mean an extra $25,000 to their salary mm -hmm. if they accept to carry a gun in a school if a bill passes that's, and it becomes a law. That's just ridiculous. What are, their, what are their reactions? That's just um, ridiculous. So first thing I'm going to say is, in my time when I was in school, <clears throat> niggas would go in the classroom and take answer sheets to hold tests three months in advance. Okay. So if you don't think a kid not going to go take no answer sheet, you don't think no kid going to go in that classroom go try to touch a teacher gun. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I mean, you probably I'm sure have to they keep would it in lock a safe up, or something. They lock but it like, up. But kid, think, kid, they lock it up at home. Kids still get into it. I think it's more so just the idea of it to me because... They are obviously doing that over school shootings. So they are basically saying, we're going to give you a gun just in case you have to shoot a child. Yep. It's fucked well, up. Well, not necessarily just a kid. No, because remember what happened to that elementary school? Well, the kid walked, my book was like 30 something walked in there. What are the majority of school shootings? Kids. Exactly. You're right. But you know what? I think it's worth a try. <laughs> that is a bad idea. I think it's I, I mean, we got to do something. Would you do it if you were a teacher though? Because I am. Yeah, I'm keeping strap. Twenty five k. Oh yeah, throw it on it. Keep sure. a Glock. A fr I get paid to oh, get a Glock. Yeah. But it's, it just seems like we change in the role of a teacher now. Yeah, because I'm a bad motherfucker. As soon as I'm kid, hey, hey, sit oh, down. Oh, that's ridiculous. No, but, that thing, but, but no, sit down. That's possible. It's a possibility okay. now, though. Oh, you getting rowdy back there? What's going on in that bag? But about he just these... said he. Okay. <laughs> himself. Well, we okay. know okay. him. He's black. <laughs> okay, you cool. But this is a possibility, especially in these like. These, um, I don't know how to put the word, but it's basically in these like areas like Detroit, Chicago, places of, with the kids are a lot worse. Mm -hmm. It's like, dangerous. Like nah, my mom real. was a teacher in CPS mm. and she would give me all kind of stories. They're dangerous. Oh, definitely. So now you're, because there's videos all over the internet of teachers fighting the students because the yes. students put their hands on him. So... Me as a teacher, if I have a gun in my possession and I'm not in the right mind because I'm pissed because this person is trying to fight me, this little ass kid, what's the likelihood of me pulling out the gun? So now it's not even a school shooter. It's mm -hmm. my classmate that's in the, that's in the class. That's a student. very low possibility. Yeah. That is, I don't think it's a low possibility no. at all. No. Most teachers, most that vast, vast, vast majority of teachers are not going to be crazy enough to pull out a gun on the Oh, I would disagree. Student. I would, I would disagree. disagree 100%. We, we can go right now and go online and look up how many kids in preschools are getting beat up by the people who are supposed to be taking care of them right now. I would I would disagree a lot with you on that one, Brandon. There's a lot of mentally ill teachers. We've seen mentally We've ill seen teachers, mentally Ill teachers. In, in Plainfield East, but just even just random ass clips online. We have through that piece of paper your mom's a hoe. That, that nigga, was crazy, but that was absurd. funny to us. That's funny. That's absurd. But like you just said that to a group of children. We have old ladies who are spazzing out in the classroom when their kids aren't listening. I know you see a bunch of clips online. No, what the hell up? No, yeah. no pomegranates. No, that shit was ridiculous. There's a, definitely a of influx of 
mentally ill teachers. Yes. And I definitely could see that situation happening. Especially 100%. one of them old ass ladies getting mad. One of them students. Oh. Y'all want to listen? Oh, you getting rowdy? Sit down, uh, Tim. Start pointing. Yeah. Sit down, Tim. You might not even shoot. They might not even shoot, but it's, now they have a another level of um, intimidation. There you go. Intimidation. You know, being able to put your power down on the students. I, I, guess, I guess I can see both sides to it. I just don't think it's. it's, it's not it, I think it'd be more detrimental than helpful. At what point? Who the hell not gonna have a gun? My dog gonna have a gun pretty soon that he can just pull the trigger on <laughs> if he get hungry. <laughs> like this is crazy as hell, bro. We cannot be giving these teachers some fucking guns. No, nah, yeah. definitely not. I just think uh, there's a area of error. But then what happens when the school shooter comes in? Them cops are gonna take a minute to come. They always mm-hmm. do. They always do. So. But he can, the kid or whoever can catch a few buys before then. If the teacher has a strap, has a gun, has a firearm, they can maybe prevent a lot of that from mm-hmm. happening. So I guess I can see both sides to it. But why don't we just have a cop on standby? If if we're that terrified that we need to give the teachers a gun, mm-hmm. just have a cop on standby. Because a lot of schools already do that. Mm-hmm. They have it's multiple police true. in the very school. true. I feel like that's a much better, a much better answer. I feel no, it's like crazy. I didn't think somebody of that. who's I trained think, to have a gun. I feel like no, it's crazy. I didn't think of that. Regardless, a response team <laughs> should be five miles of a school at all times. Anyway, that's how I feel like a response like, team for shit like that. Anyway, mm-hmm. I, it, it seems like a very simple fix. Yeah. Why would you put a gun in a teacher's hand who's not certified the way that a cop is? You know what? Yeah, you all got me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't. That's for like a dumbass. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, why not just have a cop or or if you, even if like you do give. One of the staff, maybe that's like the principal or something like that. Not everybody mm-hmm. named Mama. Yeah, that's but, what you're saying. Put a goddamn gun like, tower. Yeah, two cops would probably be probably be good enough for that. Yeah, I, mean, I would. I would probably do like four. Some, but I don't know if they want to pay on it. Yeah, that's that's too extravagant. You also have to realize that money has to be paid. Yeah, I guess depending on how big. But I mean, they're already already to give the teachers twenty five thousand extra dollars to carry a gun. Yeah, you know, yeah, bro. Sure. And that right, that would be each. I mean, realistically, they could just hire a security guard that holds a gun as well. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like they always jump to this conclusion that niggas need guns. Let's go to the extreme. Right. Let's go to the extreme. <laughs> Give them a gun. Like, no. But, like, the motherfucker's seven. Or blick up the janitors. They be everywhere. <laughs> They're on dead series. They be everywhere. Oh, you oh, said. That'd be no. interesting. Yeah. Them janitors be getting but, harassed by them kids. One okay, them that's true. That no, that's true. Out. That's true. Someone getting pistol and with. Let's be honest. A lot of them janitors are deranged as well. We have some cool janitors. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. Joseph got some deranged ones. Exactly. Shout out my nigga, teachers deranged. Shout out my deranged nigga Tito. He was, he was at East. Anyways, let's get to a brighter note, man. I want to shed some light on some things, man. Okay. A lot, a lot of, a lot of people, the beautiful people in this world, different shapes, sizes, colors, etc. Man. Oh man. I was at my job and I asked one of my coworkers this. I want to ask y'all this, man. Okay. Would y'all date a six in the face? Yes. What's the body? That was gonna be my question. Could be what you want. Yeah. She a six in the face. A six is above average. Well, if you're gonna tell me what I want. Okay. But five is average. I guess. I would say more so it's probably like a six for average. Five, six, yeah. So I mean I think we need to define what the body is before I answer. All right, you're so, so whatever you want. She can have the butt. Can she front? Is she skin complexion good, but still a six or like what? She is six in the face, man. She is six Whatever in the is. face. Because a six, y'all sometimes, <laughs> hey, right? Uh, hey, a six can mean pimples all over the face still, but pretty. Uh, you feel me? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta define all of that. Six is that pretty? Six, six not ugly though. Six is above yeah. average technically. Oh, okay, well, so yes. y'all saying that? Then I'm saying yes. I mean, she's completely okay, yeah, average. Six, six, face. She's yeah, five, six is like, mid. average. Yes. Six, yes. So she yeah. mid, basically. Yes. Yeah. Very average. Very, very the, mid. The actual definition of mid, like not the ass mid. It's just actually the mid. Actually yeah, mid, actual like, mid. Yeah. mid. Yeah, okay. That's Middle mid. of the road. Yeah. She a decent looking girl. Yeah. When you oh, look yes. at her, you don't, you don't be like, damn, you pretty. You just be like, not everybody can be a 10, bro. You a girl. The reason I bring this up is because people are always like, when I see people talk about relationship stuff, one of the top things is, is like, oh, it got to be their looks. One of the top five things always they gotta be pretty in the face, blah blah blah. I gotta have a girl, she gotta be bad to me or whatever, blah blah blah. Mm. I mean, she has to be attractive. Yeah, definitely. get you in the door. Yeah, I mean, but attraction is you it's know, subjective. But that builds 100%. up though. Exactly, that, that, that is true. It builds yeah. up, and over time, she a five now, she a six now. But over time, you find out her personality. She's real dope, real cool. Eight, keep going up. All right, yeah. turn into eight. Mm-hmm. 
Very nice. Very nice. What about a foe? How low would you go? No. Yes. Foe is now you teetering to, right, no. yes. go dust. I'm not going to, look, call me what you want, but I'm not going to date an ugly girl because I'm not going to be attracted to the ugly girl. I don't care if I get to know you, rada, 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 just because I got to know you and you was real cool she, and down to earth doesn't mean I'm sexually attracted to you. She put makeup on, she might be a six. You can you can call me. I, come on, I'm saying, right, in the, right. I'm saying in the face. She can still have buns. I mean, no, I don't. Know. <laughs> call me nah, evil person, but I practice Riz on a four, so... <laughs> Well, I'll give yeah. I'll give it a buck. I practice my riz on a four book. Yeah, I practice. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So less like, at stake. So yeah. as far as dating, I don't know if I can do that. Why you look so confused, man? You never did that. You never done that. Practice on a four. Yeah, yes. practice your riz on, on a you know. Yeah. No, no. I practice on a three four. I be shooting high. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just no, I'm to not see smart, if... but I be shooting high. Mm-hmm. We can still shoot higher. Actually, you know what? what? You right, I, I have. Yeah, definitely. But I say stop it. Yeah, you, you, got, got, you have, have to. You <laughs> have to make sure I had it. You know. Yeah, you got. Sometimes you Smart, got to. Why you putting that? You put your hand down. Yeah, you so quick to call me out, right? You look at me. <laughs> <laughs> black ass motherfucking shit. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> How low would you go? I go down to like, a, hmm, damn, four is already pretty low. <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm not going to a four. <laughs> <laughs> I think the least I'd do is probably a three. <laughs> damn. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Everybody need love, man. I'm mm. not saying they don't. Five is the lowest, maybe. Yeah, four, but you only eat, meet my intermediate family. You can't read, meet the rest Damn, of my Damn, that's you gotta hide it. You might as well just leave Hey, that's, that's right. my you family know, mean, you man. You, you ugly, you ugly. It. You gotta embrace. You ugly, you ugly. My family you gotta mean. embrace it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, man, it's just what I said before. I'm not sexually attracted. I'm not sexually attracted. And I'm not you niggas. I be fucking big booty bitches that's ugly as hell. <laughs> Who is you niggas? Well, no. Well, <laughs> keep in mind, this is all hypothetical. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> You're black. <laughs> it seem like it was our actual lifestyle. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. But yeah, but it depends on how she is. Cause this, I feel like, depending on who the, it matters about the personality at the end of the day. Cause you might meet someone. I like to say, I like to say sometimes sixes and sevens. I automatically think they tens, but to be honest, there's some threes and fours that thinks they ten is tens as well. 100%. Definitely. I, yeah, those are dangerous people. No, well, that's because it all goes back to the idea that beauty is not the beholder. I've seen some ugly, motherf- ugly motherfuckers say that they look in the mirror and they see beautiful. And I'm like, God diggity damn. You need your glasses. But that's all in their own mind. I can't be the one to tell nah. them that they're not. It's all in by either building. For so, sure. You just expect someone to be self conscious enough to die down a bit. Man. Yeah, like, you would think, yeah. Because, like, like you might be a four thing you attend, but at least act too. like I'm a seven. Around, though. Like, I'm Michael B. Jordan or motherfucking. Right. Ryan Jonathan Reynolds? Majors or right. whoever the hell women think uh, Idris Elba mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. But it's also opposite. I'm Brandon to that Black too. Ass Jones. Cause you got <laughs> <laughs> And I'm but, proud. You know what I'm saying? But there's also people that are really pretty that think they're hideous. Yeah, that's true. So it just yin and yang, got yeah, you guess. gotta have a balance. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's move on to some hip hop, man. Friday, couple new drops, mm-hmm. singles, mm-hmm. couple albums. Mm-hmm. My man. Shock him. That's your man now? Jack Harlow. That's your man now. He put out one nice, <laughs> nice little thing for you. That's a, that's your man now. Shaka. My dog. I say everyone my dog, but no. Nah, yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah, he's my dog. All it took was one project. No, nah, but no, nah, I've been respecting him though. No, but I'll, I'll, get, like I'll get into, I'll get into mm-hmm. that though. But Jack Harlow dropped the album. I see some people saying that. Some people saying very drastic opinions. It's a ten out of ten. Everything is a 10 out of 10. This is the best album of the year. I see some people saying, oh, he's still, he still trash, blah, 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 whatever. But I think overall it's been received pretty well, though. So what this, y'all think this about? has to Wait, be the on. most what, what do you think about in the game. What I think about the album? Mm-hmm. I think the album is pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. I agree. I enjoyed the album. I didn't I think the album was it, pretty so. good. The, I don't think, okay. The production was great. Like all the beats and all that stuff was not too much. I heard the first three songs and I, I was, was I was impressed by the beats. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not too much, not too little. And when I say I posted on my story, I, I don't think anyone that follows the podcast follows me on Snapchat, or whatever. I said it went ten for ten. I believe that. That doesn't mean I think all of them are just ten out of ten songs, amazing. But I think no there skips. are no bad songs on that oh, record. I agree. 100%. They are all good songs. Hundred percent. But in my opinion, not a long album. So twenty. Yeah, but I like that. It doesn't spoil this welcome. A lot of these albums are too bloated. I mm-hmm. do feel that some of the songs could be could be longer though. They gave like him a six point four on the rating. Hmm. Can't can't even listen to these dudes, man. Oh, yeah, hell some no. of the music reviewers that I follow, I still rock with them, but 
Sean C, he a hating ass. See, I heard the first three that they don't love me, ambition, <laughs> no, and then common grounds when I heard. But I saw some controversy on it though. Okay, when it came to the song uh it's called Gang Gang Gang. I don't know if y'all heard that. Mm-hmm. And basically in the song, he was talking about a couple homies that I don't know if he's talking from his own perspective. He was rapping from the first person, but he could be just telling a story or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um basically talking about a couple people and basically the first one was, I'm trying to not say the word, the key word, grape juice. You know mm-hmm. what that means. Mm-hmm. Sexually assaulting. It's like your friend that you grew up with, whatever. So you say, mm-hmm. ride for my dolls, live for my dolls, whatever, because we gang gang. That's that's the boys, right? Mm-hmm. And then you find out that they're doing something heinous. So he's talking about, you know, some of like their friends or whatever that they used to collect Pokemon cards with. Like the friend of Marcus saying that he touched some girls from their high school or another friend that they has touching kids, blah, blah, blah. And I see reactions. People are saying, why would he rap about this? What's the point? We can't bump this, blah, blah, blah. When he's just telling my opinion, he's just telling What's a real that? story. Yeah. Yeah. These are like these are real things that happen. People that are actually good friends of others. I'm not saying I have any personal friends that I know that do stuff like this, but I've definitely seen people who have a core group of friends and they get accused, I don't know what stuff is real, whatever people went to high school with, oh, of doing yeah. some heinous acts. Oh, yeah. And it's like, mm-hmm. Ten, and then at the end of the song, he's talking about, hey, like the truth is, you know what I'm saying? It's it's dogs till we ain't, you know, we ride till we ain't, you know, until we find out something, it's ride or die until you do something like that. You know, you find out they did do something, that they're doing something crazy like that. So I think overall it was, it's a good, it's I think it's a good message. It's a mm-hmm. good topic that yeah. And I think, I think that's very relatable for, like you said, relatable for, because we had a whole trend, uh, the Me Too thing, you know, so mm-hmm. like. I'm sure in that whole time period, he probably had a whole lot of homies that were on that, you know. Yeah, so or, was, or protecting you know. people to get mad because like, yeah, people feel yeah. like they're protecting predators or whatever. And that's true. People do. We know some motherfuckers that are getting protected. Yeah. I think it's another form of selective outrage. Of yep. course. Because yes. wasn't there a song years ago about the same thing? Damn near about like the same concept. Multiple was, artists have done yeah. songs about yeah. this kind of stuff and they'll get praised for it. Oh, he's shedding light on or so-and-so is shedding light on you know, the thing, like, take Tupac, for example, Keisha song. Right. Mm. That talks about the struggles of that kind of industry mm-hmm. in, like, livelihood. And Tupac, you mean Kendrick? Kendrick, yeah. I mean, I Kendrick, saying, my yeah. fault. Right. Keisha song. Of, you know, people being out there and having to do that type of thing to make money and the, the bad stuff that can come out of it. Of oh, this is such a telling song. This is very nice that he's shedding light on it. Mm-hmm. He's doing the same thing. Doing the same yeah. thing. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. We might just be looking a little too deep into it. I don't think people were really mad about the message per se. Just but talk about, the, talk about the music that they are expecting from Jack Harlow was not yeah, that. I think so. I think I think so. And I'm saying let the man do something yeah, different. Though. On, he's, a, he's an like, individual and I he's an artist. He makes his own this, art. This is art. Yeah. The thing is, that was at, that was doing. that was like it was like the first track on the album. That was well into the album. So. Hmm. Up to that point, you should already realize that he's not trying to just make a hit, make hit right, after hit. Exactly. He's not like his right. other ones. Mm-hmm. Come on, he's only he was rapping, and that's why I said beginning, my dog, my boy. Cause you know I respect him. Cause if you saw, I saw, I went back and I looked and I saw some of his old music when he was like in middle school, early high school, making oh, songs. Man was a nerd. He was a butt. Oh, that was pretty butt. Looked like a snotty nose motherfucker. <laughs> like Pokemon cards. Yeah, we know you was collecting them. <laughs> I collected them too, but he looked like the stereotypical type. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> he was rapping. <laughs> He was doing, like the remixes or stuff like that, this goofy remix stuff like that. He was mm-hmm. doing that. He went from that, and now the women love this man. Mm-hmm. They want this dude. He got money. And I saw the progression, or whatever. Yeah, it's money, but his personality. Obviously, I'm not saying he's changed everything about himself as a person, but he's grown into himself, and it's like he's become more comfortable, just comfortable with himself, and he's kind of just he's a he's seasoned now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, like even I can relate to that too. But then, I mean, y'all knew me when I then I had the breast scissors. <laughs> No <laughs> small glasses. Right. Mm-hmm. Look like Jordan. Crusty lip, back. motherfucker. That was me. Don't do that. Don't do it like that. No, that you, was. You, look at him. You look at like a snotty nose, motherfucker. You, you kind of did. <laughs> don't do Bernie like that. Who? You say you kind of look like Jordan from from Bernie Mac back then. Do yeah, that. a little fat ass version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I look. So seeing Jack Harlow go from that to what he is now. I have to respect the grind, and he really put in a for real grind. He was doing open mics, mm-hmm. performances for a few people, talking about it on the album. So shout out to Jack Harlow. I yeah, like. I thought God. that was a yeah. very, very solid album. Right. So yeah, I thought that was pretty damn good. Yeah, Numbers really wise, I want to give it like a strong seven. Man, that was good. 
Okay. That was pretty pretty damn good. I gotta listen to the whole Joyful thing. Man. I liked it. I uh, can agree with seven, yeah. I think I can agree with seven too. I don't think I would go any higher than seven. I thought it was pretty nice. So yeah, man. I, not, all very listenable tracks. Good tracks. I can't say any of them are even I wouldn't even call any of them like just mid, really, mm-hmm. what people say. But anyways, another person dropped the album. I don't I, I know for a fact not everyone listened to yeah. this shit. I did. But uh Mr. Herbert, right? <laughs> Mr. Herbert. G Herbo. I gotta listen to it. Mm-hmm. He dropped an album. I've said what I thought about it. Y'all haven't heard it. Yet. I'm going to say what I think about it. I heard DJ throw out a word that is a trigger word for me at oh, this point. Get the mug shot. Come on, man. What I say? Mid. DJ, what you think about the album, man? I think it's below mid. Damn, below Damn. mid. Yes. The and first, the first oh, trigger for my fans is way better. No, hell no. It gotta first be trigger for my fans is way better. It hell no. Way better. Oh my God, it's way better. No, man. this album is way, it's sequence way better. Yeah. The no. instrumentals are better on this album. I can't agree at all. I listened to this and I was just like, what the fuck? He made what another was, Watch Me Ball. Yeah, he made a part two. Yeah. That was the people with the ball. Like if, on Kobe. If, if that one it was, was good. Bu- if that one, Brandon, if you lying to me, I'm going to be mad, bro. I liked it. I played it in the car. I don't know how Rob feels about it. Yeah. Oh, that was the song? Yeah. Yeah, it was fire. I messed with that, bro. It wasn't it wasn't ball man. like I'm Kobe. Okay. No, ball like Kobe is my favorite project yeah. by him. But it's fire. However, DJ, you gotta explain yourself, man. What <laughs> was so but about the album? It just it just wasn't it wasn't it. I'm sorry. I didn't like most of the songs. Most of the songs were garbage. <sighs> garbage. Piss garbage. Keep speaking. You speaking black and right now? How much speaking black and Wait, hold on. How do you not being specific? What was but about them? You just said the songs were garbage. What was garbage about the songs? I did not like the songs. That's how, not an explanation. Hold on, man. How do you mean? What about the songs did you so, not like? So for Strictly For My Fans, the first one. Hold on. Let me pull up my shit. This shit was Pull Up. I ain't gonna front. Pull Up was too much for me. Mm-hmm. No, I liked it. I like it too. I actually and I don't even like Jerry Bo like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Come on. I like Tired. Crazy. Run it up, pull up, control. I like run it East up. East Side Story, having shit, tired. Like, bro. My thing is with this that project, the songs, because the ratio, the songs that I liked to compare it to Strictly for My Fans 2, it's like 10 to 2. You just still didn't answer the question. How? Well, how do you mean? What about the he songs? He obviously ain't trying to do the, no deep depth the analysis. The lyrics, the lyrics, the is it the instrumental? The lyrics were weak. His delivery. Lyrics were weak. They weren't, they weren't G Herbo lyrics. Like, they weren't like my G Herbo lyrics. I didn't feel like this was a G Herbo project. Run it up and all those songs was, bro. And I run it up. Like, what? That, Come on, that, that shit was like, heat. I'm not saying it wasn't, but I'm saying, but that wasn't like lyrically way above what he was doing on Strictly for My Fans too. But. For this project, I just think it was way better than what he gave on the second one. All right, he's not being very specific. I'm, I'm seeing, I've seen a lot of two stars, I'm one and get, a half stars. I'm, a, I don't care about them. I don't care about them. Form your own opinion, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm. Like, I don't care. Form your I, own opinion. Let's do it yourself. I really. And someone put one star and said, "I really mean it." One nigga put two and a half stars and put mid. Like <laughs> it's gotta be bad. I'm not gonna lie. Pitchfork. <laughs> it's pitch. We're listening to Pitchfork. <laughs> Pitchfork. <laughs> they have never been reliable. Oh, you listen to hilarious. these dudes. L- listen, y'all. Don't listen to these black. <laughs> listen to the album yourself. Find out if you like it yourself. <laughs> don't let these people yeah. ruin it for whatever stuff for you like that. Whatever. Those are views. I'm going to get though. into what I think. I'm not going to get too long with it. I can, I, can, I can be long with it. I'm trying my best not to be long with it with this. Well, I think this album was good. Mm. I think he went nine for 12. The songs, when you get to songs like we don't care. Let it to my love in another way. I'm not the biggest fans of those songs. When G, he went to like sort of like the the rest of those songs besides those three that I named are kind of the more hard hitting tracks, hard hitting mm-hmm. beats, instrumentals, flows, subject matter. I mean, even on those three that I named, uh, those are tracks nine to eleven. He talks about some of the same stuff. Let it to my love is a little bit different. He talks about you know is in the it's in the title or whatever. But the rest of these tracks, first of all. I've never, well, I've never seen Jerry do this when it comes to his production. These production, it was sequenced, like for real sequenced. Like you can tell there were pla- these beats, everything was they were placed thoughtfully. Meaning you can hear there's actual transitions from track to track if you listen. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? There's actual yeah. transition from track to track. You know stuff like that. It's synchronized. He had a beat switch on what you need. I never even heard Jerry really do beat switches like that. I thought it was I thought it was dope, man. Dead or Alive, he rapped on the same beat that was on uh that was on Metro's track, Metro Boomin's album, uh Metro Spider. And I think 
that okay. you I think that it goes bar for bar head to head with that Metro Spider song. Personally, this is it could be recency bias, but I like I enjoy that song more than I even enjoyed Metro Spider, or whatever. I think it's a lot of stuff. If you like G Herbo, I mean tracks, if you don't like I can guess I guess I can understand outside. The hook is a little kind of stretched, stretched out. Like if he's gonna just say, We outside. <laughs> It's probably gonna be a four bar hook instead of eight. <laughs> it was pretty long, but I mean, I like Glorilla. I like that he brought on Mellow Bucks. She had a song that kind of blew up on TikTok and all stuff like that. She's from Chicago, putting them on. And besides that, he didn't even have a bunch of features. He had three features, and the rest was him just doing his shit. The instrumentals were great. They were sequenced very well. And I mean, is it a completely different from what he's done? G Herbo, I'm turning subject matter. No, but I mean, if you like G Herbo. I don't see how this one is just, oh, it's mid. It's below mid. I just ain't fucking with it. It's only three tracks that I mess with off this. I think this was an improvement from his last project. Do I think it's better than 25 or PTSD? Hell no. no. I do not. But it doesn't have to be. It was still a very enjoyable project. And I think you should give it more of a chance than there is just. One star said they really. You ain't even listen to it, black ass. Look at it. Look at him. Look at him. I ain't gonna lie. That's a funny review, though. That's he bro, he funny, put one you know? star and said, I really mean it. Like, who's <laughs> thinking of that shit, though? Like, <laughs> man, that shit funny. Hell no. Y'all hate bro. I didn't hear it, so I I'll, give it, I'll give it a listen soon. I could go on. I even saw my boy Lando. Hey, you hear about Fanatic? He wasn't hating. He just said he just felt like it was mid to him. Uh, so he's but, hating. Yeah, that's nothing. I mean, I I just don't like the word mid at this point. Cause I just feel like at this point it's come a trigger word for me. I'm not gonna lie. What mid actually means it's just middle of the road. But when you put it like that, everyone just I feel like some are so I'm not I'm not even talking about you necessarily. Mm -hmm. You are people are just so thirsty like to right. call the yeah. album albums mid. No, they do that with everything. They do that with Kendrick, I, every single I album that comes mid. out. No, definitely. I don't mid. Said below mid. So Dang, that's even worse. That, but I'm saying mid is the middle of the road. Yeah. And I said below that. Yeah, but I'm he's just talking about the connotation. He's just talking about the connotation of mid. Because even even other times that you do say mid, you mean that oh, that shit trash. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, that shit definitely mid. I don't know why you guessing that up. Uh, yeah. Oh, but this one I meant middle of the road. <laughs> Below that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> got real specific. But I will say that the my one of my favorite songs of that project probably was the one with Glorilla. Mm. I don't know. Me and Glorilla, I've been warming up a little bit. Mm. I, I like Glorilla, like but when she rap, I laugh. I can't but laugh. I just think more nigga. Cause that, she, sound like, she sound like a nigga. Exactly. Come on, man. I'll be trying to tell you. I'll be thinking that. I just think she nah, looks like. Well, she got saying, a frog in her throat. She just sound like yeah, she from like, Memphis. Nah, and she just sound. She got a frog like, in her throat. Just dangerous. She got the I wouldn't want to go toe to toe with that. She said, "My whoop do whoop." That was funny, man. I still can't get over. She sounded just like that too. Yeah, no. Your voice is deep in the mind. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I'm not going to cap. What the fuck? She's Hell still, yeah. She's still fine. I don't care what, I don't care what this man said, That's though. crazy. She take them big ass lashes That's off. She's crazy. still fine. She's still very gorgeous to me. What are you talking about? I was, oh, God, man. <laughs> I got a bone to pick, man. I don't fuck y'all. <laughs> y'all are strange. You Samaj, are. you are strange. strange How am I strange? And, you know, a lot of people are strange out here, man. When y'all go to Wings, what do y'all usually get, right? Ranch. You usually ranch. get ranch, mm -hmm. whatever. Some people get... But nigga, some people get that. Who is getting ranch? Everybody. Nigga, some that's people like get the, that blue cheese. That's horrendous. Oh, that's foul. Blue cheese bane. And ass. I'm like, why you need to be stopped? Y'all need to be stopped. Uh -huh. I don't understand why y'all would want blue cheese. <laughs> Something wrong with y'all, niggas. I <laughs> don't understand it. Yeah. Ranch never blue cheese. Yeah, blue yeah. cheese is that condiment that you get. You look at it from far away. It kind of looked like ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get a little close. You say... Nigga, what is these cordyceps that I'm, I'm starting to smell? What is this fun guy that I'm starting to smell in? Like, yeah, this, what is this funky ass, yeah, tinked ass bang, shit man. that we smelling right here? And then you be like, every single time you be like, you close that thing right back. You say, nigga, that's blue cheese. Oh, nasty ass. And then you got this weird motherfucker. When y'all get wings, right? Y'all get ranch, whatever. Some of y'all nasty motherfuckers get blue cheese. But and this man, Samaj's gonna get... Honey mustard. We have wing stop, right? You got the legendary wing stop ranch. This man get honey mustard. I just yes. feel like that is crazy, bro. I honey just feel like that is bang. so crazy. Honey mustard with the wings over yes. top. Wait, at wing stop of all places just makes it even more insane. We all know that they got pure white cocaine in their ranch. No, nah, that's facts. That ranch is good as hell. I don't that know. That ranch is creamy ass, bogus ass ranch. You might oh. as well dip your food in fucking oh. milk. Oh. 
milk and butter mixed so, together. So, 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 uh, Am I wrong? Ain't ranch nothing but buttermilk? Like, we don't got that much bogus. time left. Daenerys, speak some sense. Okay. Some well, so there's been an alarming stat that I've come across recently. Uh, let me pull it up. Get the right numbers. Because, you know, hurry up, around these parts, we don't want to get that wrong. So 42% of people in the U.S. don't have $1,000 in their savings account. Hmm. That is putrid. Okay. That's what I got. Um, you know, and I hold on, I know the the common theme of like, you know, DJ, I'm you know, I'm stretching it thin. I I don't make too much. You just put five dollars away every week. That's uh five times four is twenty. And twenty times twelve is six hundred. No, four hundred. So and that's gonna take a minute. But okay, that's fine. But let's be honest. If you were to take out one meal a week, Cause you go to you go to eat food, right? You, you go get takeout, twenty bucks. If you just take that out, just one time, just one time. I don't like it to calculate on screen. Oh yeah, cause you know my black ass. Uh, go I ahead, math. But basically, if you were to take one you meal said, a week. You said five dollars per week. Yeah, I don't do that, but it's a start. Five times fifty two is like two hundred. So yeah, twenty six dollars per week. That start. ain't nothing, nigga. That's gonna Thank take you, you four years just to get to a thousand. Thank you. But he's you could obviously do a lot more than five dollars. Exactly. exactly. That's, what, that's what I'm trying but to I'm say. saying. If you just would have just take out one meal a week, because people eat out all the time. Mm. Yes. It's like twenty bucks. Mm. Put that away for a week, you'd be at a thousand in no time. It's all about the one to. Yeah. Ten forty. Twenty bucks. Y'all spend that. Well, I'll, I'm not gonna poke at y'all. I'll spend that on a meal at Texas Roadhouse or something. Mm. I just take that one, pocket it real quick. You got a thousand. It's all about the one two. People say they can't save. That's BS. People buy shit all the time. I buy shit all the time. Mm -hmm. But I save though. Mm -hmm. DJ mm -hmm. definitely saves. Don't you can't be expecting the government and shit like that to help you out because, for one, they're having a retirement crisis as we speak. The validity of pensions and four hundred one ks dropping. You might as well start saving for yourself. Okay, five dollars a week, y'all. Don't be scared, cause y'all spend five dollars on some damn coffee every time you get up in the morning. You need more than five dollars, basically. Probably more fifty. <laughs> As a, but we got you can't throw them in a the deep end. Yeah. You see fifty, fifty. You say fifty dollars a month. People gonna pull their hair out. How the hell we get fifty dollars a month? You gotta start off slowly. Okay. All right, Smaj. Mm -hmm. You gotta make it fast though. All right. Since we talking about the Met Gala, <clears throat> I pulled up a little fun fact about some of the people who've been to the Met Gala. We all know yeah. Disney Channel star Demi Lovato. It said that she once had to go straight to an AA meeting right after the Met Gala. And she said herself that she related more with all the struggling people than she did with people in the Met Gala. Yeah, I mean, it probably makes more sense. I mean, she does, she did, well, she was on that spoon. So, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. yeah, she was on that spoon. The description was crazy. crazy. Ha <laughs> ha, the spoon is crazy, uh, the but it's funny was though. <laughs> yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. <laughs> It's rough out here. <laughs> Come on, man. In she... New York, she, there, in New York too. Yeah, we know motherfuckers on that spot. Oh spoon, yeah, man. fuck Demi Lovato. Yeah, I, I respect. I respect. Definitely. What's wrong with Demi? Yeah, wrong with she Demi? blew me when she started crying because people were making fun of her. Oh, and then, but she did the same thing. Twenty one, 21 okay. Savage. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, my uh, Rob, let's let's, let's let's end it real quick, man. It's gonna be the end of wisdom. everything, man. Give y'all some wisdom on articulating yourself and why it's so important because we go through this life so much putting up with the bullshit from other people. And you need to stand up for yourself or you forever made seated. Damn. Y'all heard what my brother said? Yeah, just like DJ, your black ass, you should articulate, you should articulate yourself more. We're talking about the motherfucking G Herbal album. Besides, it's ass. He's just mad because I don't like the album. <laughs> He's just mad because I don't like yeah, the album. Yeah, he is. He is. Album probably is, but you heard the one guy, one star, he really meant it. <sighs> I was just I'm surrounded by hating ass <laughs> niggas. That shit is funny. <laughs> I'm just mad because I don't like the album. Yeah, it's okay, Brandon. Shock him. <laughs> Last you boys show, man. Hope y'all. Uh, no diggity, no doubt.